Virtual DJ has introduced a new feature known as stems, which can be used to separate vocals from instruments in a track. Today, we shall see how we can manipulate stems using the pads section and within the different types of equalizers. This is Phony Learn, and before we proceed, smash that like button and subscribe. Let's get started. I will choose a familiar song and find a section with vocals, instruments and drum kicks. This is the pads section where you can find stems. Click here and select stems. I will go with the following cue point. We make a miracle walk. We can now remove the vocals by clicking here to disable. Let's listen now. Do the same to instruments and notice the difference. We make a miracle walk promise. The same applies to bass when you disable it. We make a miracle walk promise keep. Now try doing the same to both the kicks and hi hat. We make a miracle walk from We make a miracle walk promise keep. The effect can also apply in real time while playing the tracks. Listen to this. We make a promise keeper, light and the dark name. Awesome, right? To set the level of muting each individual item, click on any of them, like vocals, and find bleed. Bleed can go as high as 100% and low as 0%. You can adjust it to suit your preference. That's all about stems in the pads section. Let us now go to the equalizer section, which is in the audio tab at the middle. Click here to select the equalizer type. We shall start with the traditional equalizer, which regulates high, medium and low frequency. Listen to the sound when I manipulate the high knob, commonly called the treble. We make a miracle walk a promise. Double click to reset the knobs in Virtual DJ. Let us check the mid and low knobs. We make a miracle walk from Miss Keeper. Light in the darkness, my. And now. We shall change the equalizer to a better one, known as the Easy Remix which controls vocals, instruments, and the beat. I will tweak each knob separately. Watch what happens in the stem pads section. God, that is who you are. We make a miracle walk. Moving it dead right leaves only the vocals playing. Let us do the same to the instrument's knob. We make a... And finally, do that too to the beat knob. We make a... When done tweaking, return them to the middle. Again, I will tweak all the knobs, but this time, towards the left. Dead left completely removes the vocals. How about the instrument's knob? The same eliminates the instruments. 
which means the third one will eliminate the beat. Sometimes, when playing, you may need to switch back to the traditional equalizer quickly, click, or right click anywhere within the equalizer, except the knobs, to switch between the traditional and your current equalizer. Finally, we have the modern equalizer which controls the hi-hats, melody, vocals and the kicks, the top knob only controls the hi-hat. Observe what happens in the stem pads section. Light and the darkness, my God, that is the second knob controls the melody to the left and vocals to the right. Please keep an eye on the stems pads here. As the knob moves, you will see some pads activating and others deactivating. Let us start with the melody side. And then try the vocals side. Don't forget to observe what happens to the stems. I worship you, I worship you. Down here, is the kicks knob which controls the level of kicks. See how dead right affects the stems. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light. And now, dead left deactivates the kicks pad. In the darkness, my God, that is who you are. The last knob which many DJs only use it to control filter effect, is here. Click here to select the vocals and then use it to filter the vocals only. That's all for today my people, please subscribe, like, comment and share this video with friends. Goodbye.